white liberals dumb down their vocabulary when talking to black and Latino people and that conservatives do not. And I remember thinking to myself, there is a sickness in the worldview that produces that behavior. And again, that behavior clearly comes from a misguided place of, you know, wanting to help, right? Wanting to be good, wanting not to embarrass somebody by using, you know, like, you know, six syllable words or whatever, but it's sick. It's a sickness. And I remember having this moment of clarity that, you know, it didn't like blossom into my full blown worldview yet, but it was definitely a moment for me of like, what are we doing here that that has happened to us? And then we are calling the conservatives racist when they're the ones who don't do this. So that was sort of the first primal scene, I would say. The second was learning about the uh, the deaths of despair and the downward mobility among um, the, uh, working, <clears throat> the working class in America, particularly the working class that's being lost by Democrats and lost by the liberals. Um, the idea that people feel so hopeless that they are literally killing themselves with alcoholism, with drug, um, opioid um, overdoses, and with suicides, and that those are the people, again, who are being shown the most contempt by the liberals, these people who clearly are losing out of the American dream, and yet who somehow our side, my side, the lefty side, has become okay with that because of what their political views are. And I would say the third primal scene is one that, Sam, you were actually there for, which was I tried to write a different book, actually, and I couldn't sell it. And that book was about American unity. Um, the polling has shown seismic change on the right around a host of issues that are really at the beating heart of the liberal worldview, issues like sexism and racism and LGBTQ rights. We just are not divided along those issues anymore. The left really won a lot of those cultural battles, and yet nobody knows it and nobody talks about it. And so I wanted to write a book called A More Perfect Union about how united we are as Americans around the most important issues at stake in American life, the values this nation was founded on. Finally, we're united around those issues. And I couldn't sell that book. Nobody would buy it. Editors kept saying to me, who is the audience for this? And finally, a very kind editor sat me down and she said, look, you know, nobody going to buy a book telling them something that seems so implausible. If we're so united, why do we think we're so divided? Write that book. And, and I think that's sort of the book that I did write.